me introduce you to Mimi. This wild cat is now our tamed, beautiful princess, as you can see. Let me tell you the story. The former owner had this cat that would stop by just to get food. And the cat adopted the house, but never adopted the owner. As you can see, her fur matches the stone house and her eyes resemble the shutters. When we got here, little did we know, 9 a.m. every morning, she would come for food. So we started giving her food. Then sometimes she'd stop by in the afternoon. We couldn't even come close to her. Being a wild cat, she's a year and a half. All this time, she, it was impossible to even get close to her or pet her like what I'm doing now. And this happened for about, I don't know, a couple weeks. Then a woman stopped by the house. She was from the cat association. She's like, hey, we heard about this cat, this wild cat. If you're able to catch it, we can um, sterilize her for you, fix her, you know, and um, we can bring her back and she'll have all her shots. So we're like, okay, we weren't planning on adopting another cat. We already have two cats and a dog, but um, all right. So sure enough, we found a way. My poor husband had to kind of trap her in this, you know, cage, so to speak, by luring her with food. And we got her, we called the association. They took her, they took care of her. They got all her shots. They sterilized her for free. Isn't that crazy? They brought her back. We put her in a room and she was so skittish. It, I mean, she was hiding. We couldn't even get close to her. It was crazy. So little by little, we started, you know, feed, we were feeding her obviously, but we started to try to approach her and more and more she came closer and closer. I guess she was really scared, particularly of men. Neighbors said that she might have been beat. We're not really sure. And any male voice, she would just flee from. And there's three boys in the family with my two, our two sons and my husband. So that was a little bit of a challenge and she came with pets, but little by little she got pretty comfortable as you can see to the point where now she stays in the house. I mean, she can go outside whenever she wants. She cuddles with me at night. It's an insane story. So if you wanna know the crazy adventure that happened to her when we thought we lost her, let me know and I will tell you. Say, a bientôt. A bientôt. See you soon. You good girl, Mimi. You're so good.